Medic Mind. Motivate, mentor, maximize. Welcome to Maths Lesson 5 on area and length. There have been eight questions on area and length since 2009, making it one of the most commonly tested BMAT maths topics. First of all, we'll have a look at similar triangles. You can find three rules for similar triangles. One has to be true for the triangles to be similar. So, if we compare two triangles, one of these rules has to be true. First rule, the three sides are in equal proportion. They don't necessarily have to be the same length, but they have to be in equal proportion. So have a look at these two triangles. The triangle on the left has a ratio of 3 to 4 to 5. The triangle on the right has a ratio of 4.5 to 6 to 7.5. And when you simplify the ratio on the right, it turns out to also be 3 to 4 to 5. Rule 2. Two sides are in equal proportion, and the angle in between the two sides in both triangles is equal. So here, 5 and 3 are in equal proportion to 10 and 6. And, and additionally, the angle in between is 30 in each triangle. Bear in mind that only one of these rules has to be true for the triangle to be similar. And now let's look at the third possible rule. Two sides are in equal proportion, and the angle in between the two sides in both triangles is equal. Here, we have two sides in equal proportion in both triangles, and the angle in between, 85, is equal. Sometimes you'll get questions where they have grey and white shapes, and you'll have to work out the areas of different sections. A classic BMAT question will have a complex shape with a grey shape within a white shape, as shown on the right. And often, they will ask you to work out the area of the white region. In this scenario, the area of the white region will be equal to the area of the whole square minus the area of the grey. Sometimes, you get questions where they have shapes with multiple sections, and you will have to break down the shape yourself. For example, you might get the shape at the top and be asked to work out the area. To work out the area of this shape, you need to draw lines in yourself and break it down. In this case, by drawing two lines, you can break this shape down into a triangle and two rectangles. In the B map, because it is a written exam, you are able to write onto the paper and onto the questions, which is a huge advantage compared to the UK cat, where you are unable to do so. For the BMAT, it's important to remember certain formulae for maths. This table summarises the main formulae which can come up on test day. The formulae which are starred will be given to you in the exam according to the BMAT specification. So therefore, there's no point learning them. Focus on the ones which are not starred and have a look at this table the day before the test to make sure you've memorised everything and you know all of the equations. Let's have a go at some questions. Pause the video and have a go. The answer here is A. So for this question, you have to work out the white region in each square. Remember, the area of the white region is equal to the area of the whole square minus the area of the grey shape. Let's look at box A first. We know that one side of the square is 4 centimetres because the area of the square is 16 centimetres squared. Therefore, the radius of the circle would be 4 centimetres. By circle, we mean the whole circle formed by that 4 centimetres. The grey shape represents one quarter or one quadrant of this circle. 
So therefore, what we can do is work out the area of a circle with a radius 4 centimetres and then divide this by 4 to work out the area of the grey quadrant. So, the equation for the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the area would be pi 4 squared and therefore this would be 16 pi. However, we only have a quarter of the circle, so therefore the area of the grey quadrant is 4 pi. The area of the square is 16 as we know, so therefore the area of the white region is 16 minus 4 pi. Now let's look at box B. In box B we have many quadrants again, and in this case we have four quadrants rather than one. There are four quadrants and each quadrant has a radius of two centimeters. If there are four quadrants, they add up to form one full circle. And this full circle has a radius of two centimeters. Therefore, we can apply pi r squared. Pi r squared on this occasion equals four pi. And we don't have to divide by four or divide by anything because we have one full circle if we add together the four quadrants. So therefore, again, the area of the white region would be 16 minus 4 pi. So the answer is A. Question 2. Pause the video and have a go. The answer here is E. First of all, we want to work out the length of the rope. And to do this, we need to work out the circumference of the circle. The formula for the circumference of a circle is pi d. The circle has a radius of 56, so therefore the diameter d would be 112. So the circumference would be 112 pi. Now, we need to work out the area of the new square formed. And to do this, we need to know the length of one side of the square. Well, the length of one side of the square would be equal to the circumference of the circle divided by 4. This is because the perimeter of the, of the square is equal to the perimeter or circumference of the circle. So, we do 112 pi divided by 4, which gives you 28 pi. Now, you times 28 pi by 28 pi, because if one length is 28 pi, then the area would be 28 pi all squared. And therefore, the answer you get is 784 pi squared. Question 3. Pause the video and have a go. The answer here is C. For this question, you have to use similar triangles. You can do the question using Pythagoras' theorem, but the calculations become very tricky, so therefore it's much advised to use the similar triangle method. If we consider the triangle AB to the middle point, which involves the sides H, X and 3, we can compare it to the triangle CAB. And what we can do is draw out the triangle CAB and this small triangle we formed involving the sides H3 and X to compare them. Because the small triangle is within CAB, we know that it will be similar. So therefore, the proportions of the sides will be equal. For example, X over 3 is equal to 3 over 5. And therefore, we can make an equation using this in step 1. Multiply both sides by 3, and then you get 5x equals 9, which means that x equals 1.8. Now, we can substitute in 1.8, where it says x, and now make another equation involving h, because we want to work out h. h divided by x or now 1.8, is equal to 4 over 3. 
multiply both sides by 1.8 and you get h equals 2.4, which is c. This is quite a tricky question, and if you did manage to get it, well done. Thank you for watching this tutorial on area and length. Thank you for watching this free BMAT tutorial from Medic Mind. To unlock the rest of the 100 tutorials and all 8 ebooks, click here now.